Cabin. So I understand that Canadian whiskey is being more greatly appreciated abroad and locally. So tell us a little bit about what's been happening with Canadian whiskey. Well, it's really quite a phenomenon. The last five or six years, Heather, people are really starting to appreciate Canadian whiskey. The high-end stuff, the connoisseurs are starting to enjoy it. Whiskey enthusiasts are lining up for it at the um, whiskey shows. I was in Louisville and um, Jimmy Russell, famous Jenny, Jimmy Russell came over to my table so he could taste Canadian Club 100% rye. 5% increase in sales of Canadian whiskey last year across the board. That's a lot of whiskey when you're thinking about a multi-billion dollar industry. Yes, that's fantastic. Yeah. And so I understand we have a growing craft industry here in BC, so what's been happening in BC? BC is a kind of, has become the hotbed of micro distilling in Canada. Now, BC is still a little bit behind some of the other provinces because they're so, uh, they've started so recently, so they don't have a lot of whiskey on the market yet. However, I've tasted some great works in progress. Believe me, British Columbia is going to be making a name for itself in whiskey in the not too distant future. So tell us a little bit about what's been going on here on the island, Shelter Point from Campbell River. Well, I'm really excited about Shelter Point. First of all, this is really good whiskey to start with, okay? But, um, uh, this uh, whiskey, uh, Patrick Evans is a farmer up there. He has a great big farm, grows his own barley, does everything uh, up there. And James Marinus is the distiller. And they uh, started distilling quite some time ago in typical Scottish style pot stills. They had Mike Nicholson from uh, you know, the famous Scottish distiller come in and do uh, set everything up. Um, and they're allowing them to mature as long as they need to in good quality cask. It's quite similar to a lot of Scotch whiskies. It's really a... So tell us a bit about it. Well, you can smell the malt in there right off. Mm. You know, and it's, it, it's sweet. There's some grassiness there as well that, uh, you know, it's it's like, like dried hay. Mm. Not everybody gets the, that uh, coconut flavor on the top, but I, I really can know some coconut mm -hmm. in there. So it's, uh, it, it's really already got quite a bit of complexity and a number of uh, different kinds of flavors in there while maintaining a very good balance among the flavors. So there's, there are no sore thumbs sticking out. It's really quite a, a nicely made, well-made whiskey, and it, it tastes really good. I, have, I think these guys have a great future. Gary, it's great you could bring in your brand new whiskey and show us what you're working on at the distillery. So let's have a wee dram and find out a little bit more about it. Absolutely, I'm uh, really excited to be here and uh, to showcase off our first offering and uh, of and we hope that snowball keeps going for the future. So as the brewmaster, what's it been like to go from making beer to making whiskey? Um, I, it's, it's not as hard as you think, but, uh, but you have to hire a skilled distiller. And uh, with our brewery, uh, we have the necessary equipment to produce a wash, which is uh, very similar to beer, with just without hops. And the process is the same all the way through fermentation. Uh, the divergent point is uh, where beer goes off and with the hops goes off and matures for about another month uh, before it's packaged or kegged. Uh, whiskey, can, once the alcohol is um, all in that wash, alcohol can be removed by distillation and the maturation comes in barrels later on for, for a whiskey product. Now this is a three-year offering and it's not our intention to sell uh, three-year-old whiskeys, um, but uh, you know we do everything on sensory evaluation so we have a limited release. So tell us a bit about what you were trying to achieve with this whiskey. It is a uh, single malt. All the raw materials come from the Prairie region in Canada here. And we use ex-bourbon barrels, and specifically with these ones, we'll give you caramel and vanilla notes um, from the inside of the barrel because the barrel is charred. And from the malt, uh, you'll get notes of uh, honey and, uh, and a little bit of heather I get in this too. And so there's a nice, it's a very straightforward single malt and very delicate and balanced and uh, a little warm because it's a young brash whiskey still. And then as, as the whiskey ages for longer years in the barrel, it'll pick up more color um, and it'll get more of the barrel notes and become a little more woody. Definitely has some sweetness to it, lots of vanilla and it's very nice. Mm -hmm. So the Hotel Grand Pacific has a very strong commitment to having local product, Canadian product. So tell us why you feel it's so important to have those things in your bar. Victoria locals pride themselves on 
using and supporting local products and establishments and services, whether it's our tourists coming from outside of Victoria and BC, Alberta, Washington, across the US, they want to try and use our local product and so being able to showcase not only some of our local wines and breweries but now some of our great local distilleries that are coming up is uh, great. We've discovered there is lots of great BC product out there to be tried so the next time you're out and about, think Canada first. I'm Heather Leary, community producer, Shaw TV. Cheers! <laughs>